I'll kick off my latest category on one of Britain's smallest historic canals in one of Britain's smallest historic towns. One snag is, these places are mostly not so much as dead as pretty much alive, which means I've had to revise the title somewhat. That's better, I think. This three quarter of a mile long medieval waterway we're on our way to visit now suddenly appears in the middle of a street near Beverly Town Centre. It's hiding behind a wall as well, but at least we've got this friendly chap here to help us find it. Beverly Bank was constructed in the 12th century. It connected with the River Hull at the most end and with the Humber a few miles along from that. Later in the century, the Archbishop of York had the Beck expanded to allow connecting goods ships from the North Sea and enable easier trade. Stuffing brought in on the barges included building materials for a certain church that was being constructed nearby at the time. It's around here somewhere, I think. Unfortunately, because the canal hit its dead end a little short of its target destination, an extra bit of manpower had to be administered. This chap next to me is the creeler, one of the many workers whose job was to carry the goods on foot from the barge the rest of the way to town. You know, mate, I wouldn't even wish that on delivery. Lovely to see how clear and reflective this canal's water surface looks 900 years on from then. Making our way along again, there's just memorial fountains and maybe a few mooring posts to see at street level at first. All these lovely new flats on the right have a bit of history to hide, having all been built on either site of a former mill or wharf building at some stage. We are already up on our second epicenter of today's explore. The canal's tasty little array of ships. This one, called Cabby C by the looks of things, is an extra one I was not planning on seeing parked here today. The main treat, of course, is this lovely lady parked here. The Sinton, a large industrial barge from the mid 20th century is also the pride and joy of the town's preservation group. Quite obviously it doesn't look like she's going anywhere today. I'd reckon that at one time this bad girl in front of me here would have made personally sure of that. And if you don't mind us craning up here a little bit. I reckon that this Victorian era treasure must have been such a relief for those creelers when it came along. One last peek at those lovely crafts and the crane, and we have to carry on. And the sun's carried on shining, despite my early predictions. Coming up to the bridge now, and it's time to head on up. That's the second video running I've had steps to climb.
hold it here for a moment and enjoy the sight. Well, it's an amazing view, but we've still got the rest of the canal to look at. And safely down to the other side. Taking the bridge to change sides is something a lot of canal users have had to do in past centuries. Ooh, lovely tree. Like going under a little bridge. To imagine that barges carried materials such as cloth, leather, timber, coal and corn up this stretch of water several times weekly. The reflection at this point, especially on these three trees, is the most attractive along this journey yet. Haircut, sir. Unfortunately, we have to briefly divert. And once again at last, we've got more boats. This is Grove Hill Lock, where Beverly Beck ends up meeting with the River Hull, as I mentioned earlier. It is, of course, the only lock in this very short canal. So enjoy looking at it while you can. This is where the incoming barges would terminate before the Archbishop of York completed the rest of the canal into the town. A few more beautiful vessels and also another crane. Still linger around for people to see and enjoy, but probably the biggest surprise of today is sitting straight behind me. Of all the things we expect to find in a medieval Yorkshire Canal. I assure you, however, that this submarine is simply a harmless barge beneath. Then again, with jets from a nearby RAF base soaring around overhead at the moment, you might need to hold that thought. Anyway, before I end up in any more deep water, I think I'd better head off back to dry land. Do please subscribe, and hopefully, I'll resurface again soon. I think I'll go this way. <laughs>